Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're gonna to talk about the death of data science here. So I am starting to get a little nervous here. So no, not the study of it itself, but more or less data scientists, like the role, the job. I kind of came into a new term I had never seen before, so many of you maybe have seen this, but there's something now called a machine learning engineer. So I'm like, a data scientist takes data, right? builds models, and then implements those models and uses those models. That's data science here. Now we start scratching our heads, you know, and thinking about this a little bit with like quant finance, right? What is quant finance? Quant finance is math, stats, computer science applied to finance. Data science is really just a broader term, but only focuses or mainly focuses on machine learning and AI. So it's kind of specialized a little bit differently than the quant realms, but a lot of these big firms now are using quants to do their data science and AI here. So I feel like data science has a role, firms have an, like a notch, like a little niche, I don't know, some little nice cozy box for a new data scientist to come in and do research. But a lot of firms are using quants to do this because quants are inherent to finance. But data science is bigger than finance. It's covering a lot of areas. So I'm thinking, okay, I've got this kind of figured out. And then the term machine learning engineer pops up. So I'm looking, I'm gonna, I'll link this article above, below in the description and all that. Love to hear your guys' opinions on these sorts of things uh, as I'm trying to sort through terminology and also what this technically means as firms are moving forward. But according to this Neptune.ai blog article, it says, while data scientists primarily, primarily deal with algorithmic and model development, Machine learning engineers' key focus is on scalable software engineering related to model deployment and monitoring. The remaining tasks are often common to both profiles. So it sounds like data scientists do everything but AI, but AI is kind of part of machine learning. So I'm curious, like, where is the split here? And now I'm talking to firms about this, and they're like, oh, no, no, we have machine learning engineers, it's just a really interesting job. And they're going over and explaining to me uh, what the role entails, what they do. Basically, you're building models like a data scientist, but really you need to be able to program heavily like an engineer, a software engineer specifically. So not actual like engineer, engineer, software engineers. So you're a software engineer who does machine learning. So now I'm starting to look at this thinking, okay, so I think what's happening is firms are in this position where you have a data scientist and you have the quant problem, which is how do you train someone to be an expert on computer science, math, and stats? And with data science here, right, is a whole kind of area. It's really, you know, stats slash, I'll put in there machine learning models, AI, automation. Uh, that's really just stats. And then the automation piece is computer science here. And then implementation testing of models is computer science. And then there's some math, but it seems like they're dropping the math and not doing much math. And so I'm thinking what's happening is the firms are getting these people. They don't have really good coding skills or they have just a little bit of each one. So I'm looking at data science masters here. The majority of them are covering just a little tiny bit, a little bit of a taste of every single topic, but you're not an expert in any one of them and you can't really do anything that meaningful. And so I'm predicting here, I'm thinking here, this is what's going on. Firms are realizing we don't like data scientists because they're too broad in every topic here. They're a generalist. I need an expert. So what they're going to do is take computer scientists we're gonna call them uh, machine learning engineers or software engineers are gonna be now machine learning engineers. And they're just gonna engineer and hodgepodge and throw algorithms at problems and hope to solve them. But these firms understand and know they're experts in you know, computer and en software engineering, programming and all that. So kind of this odd thing, uh, quant finance has taken very, very similar paths on this. Uh, some firms focus a lot you know, more on the computer science side. So for example, like high frequency trading, uh, firms have split these jobs out now in the quant world. So you have quant dev, uh, you're a software engineer at a hedge fund or a quant firm. Uh, some firms mix the little terminology here. And this is what's happening, I think, with data science, right? We're going to start blending. I'm a machine learning engineer. I'm a data scientist. They have overlap. They're kind of the same things. Quant dev, a lot of times is just implementation like C++, but they're kind of like machine learning engineers. And then you have quants or quant research and they're doing actual research here. I think that's what data science originally was. But now like quant finance has split them out into research, quant dev, traders. Like they've broken things out as much as possible so they can get experts in every single topic instead of trying to find the one holy grail quant that has everything under the sun. 
And I think this is what's happening. So anyways, I'd love to hear your guys' commentary. What do you think about machine learning engineers? Is it really that different? Um, maybe this is not driven by the markets. I think it is. Again, I'm kind of like searching and like I'm on Google here right now, like looking at pictures and blog articles. Uh, it just seems really odd to me. Like it seems like we're having this educational breakdown. I've kind of been talking about with the quant realm. I've hinted at it with data science and machine learning. I didn't want to get too much into it, but these are kind of things to think about. Again, what do you think in the comments? Let me know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time. Mm -hmm.